What is up guys, my name is David, and as we all know, the For Honor Alpha is currently out right now. I hope those who are playing it are all really enjoying it. We certainly are here at Livewire. Today's video is just going to be a quick update about the emblem system that you may or may not have heard about in For Honor. As always guys, remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel for continued For Honor coverage, and a like rating would always be appreciated. Let's try and have about 50 likes to show your support for this very quick update and all of our For Honor coverage throughout the Alpha. Now let's get into the news. Alright, so this is the kind of base screen that everyone is shown when they first turn on for Honor's Alpha. I presume this is going to be like this in the actual game as well. Now, the emblem design system in the game is used to kind of represent yourself as a player. It's sort of like your display picture for, for Honor and it's also used to represent yourself online in all the different online menus and leaderboards. So as you can see there, your first option is to choose your background. This can be done by adding a variety of colours, you can colour 1, 2, 3. Your option there to transform is in terms of the background styles, uh, size, rotation and all that stuff. You can also use the randomise button there to randomise if you're not that creative and the game will make something look really cool for you on its own. As we move into all the different types of backgrounds, you can see a variety of different styles, each to shoot the Viking, Samurai and the Knights. You've got a lot of selection there. That's all the different colours you can choose for the background, and this is the game kind of randomising all the different emblem backgrounds that they suggest. So after you've chosen your background, you're then asked to choose a symbol. You've got five different slots for five different symbols here. You can see here all the different symbols for symbol one. Now these symbols don't change throughout the five different levels of symbols. You can see here again all the ones for the Viking, Knight and Samurais. The cool thing about the symbol feature is you can kind of layer them on top of each other so if you like one but you also like another one you can kind of add them together and kind of mix and match to make it all look just how you like. After playing around with it for a little while I was able to create this. It's not that great but I wasn't in a rush to make this video. In my opinion it just kind of symbolises my love for the Vikings plus obviously it's got the live wire colours in it so what can I say she's amazing. And here you can see us choosing the outline for the emblem as well which in my opinion makes it look more like a shield rather than an emblem but uh, yeah it's pretty cool. Let us know what you think about the emblem creation in the comments below. Also let us know what kind of emblem you're roughly going to be creating. I'm sure you're all bursting with ideas for this game and we'd really like to hear about them. As always you can check out all of our Runner News videos by clicking on the playlist here. You've also got all the other stuff we do on the channel here and you can click down here to get to know us a little bit better. And we'll see you in the next one. 